Mexican scientists have found the DNA of the Almex. This is bad news for those Afrocentrist and wannabe American aboriginals who claim the Almex were ancient black Americans. A recent 2020 DNA study was conducted by scientists from the National Autonomous University of Mexico. A geneticist named Enrique Villamar Becerril, working under the leadership of Ann Cyphers, who was the leading anthropologist, have obtained the DNA haplogroup of two ancient Almec remains. These two Almec remains were found at the ancient Almec site called San Lorenzo Tenochtitlan by a team of the National Autonomous University of Mexico. Leading anthropologist, Ann Cyphers said that her team found mitochondrial DNA haplogroup A at this Almec site that is over 2,000 years old. Geneticist Enrique Villamar Becerril took bone samples from the ribs to test. He found the mitochondrial DNA of the Almecs, which is haplogroup A. Mitochondrial DNA is basically a genetic map of the mother's lineage passed on to sons and daughters, which can be traced going back tens of thousands of years. Haplogroup A, which is found in Native American mitochondrial DNA, is the most abundant among the founding and the current indigenous American population throughout the Americas. If any Mesoamerican populations such as the Almex had been Africans, then sub-Saharan African DNA such as haplogroup L would have been found everywhere across Mesoamerica, but it's not. Many university archaeologists and geneticists from around the world have studied Mesoamerican sites and many other Native American sites across the Americas. All these scientists have never found African DNA, African artifacts, nor any ancient African seafaring ships in Mesoamerica or the entirety of the Americas. We can also compare various writing systems between Africa and Mesoamerica and see obvious differences in symbols that make up letters or meaning. There is no evidence of any Egyptian, Nubian, or Malian influence on ancient Mayan, Aztec, or Olmec writing systems. These facts, along with new DNA evidence, discards all ancient African settler theories in Mesoamerica or the Olmecs being some ancient black aboriginal race. In the past, scientists could not find ancient Olmec burial sites to perform DNA tests. But as more burial remains are found and tested to be Native American, the hopes of pseudo-Afrocentrist and wannabe black aboriginals is destroyed. Let's be honest, without DNA evidence, their theories are dismantled. It's simple, ancient black Americans never existed, there is no DNA or archaeology evidence that they even existed. When we also consider that all ancient remains found across Mesoamerica have been DNA tested to be Native American, this debunks all Afrocentrist claims that the Almecs were ancient Black American. Furthermore, most ancient skulls found across Mesoamerica and across the Americas have been proven by scientific consensus to have the shovel-shaped incisors or shovel-shaped dental trait, which are also found in today's Native American diaspora. These classic Native American dental traits are not found in any African or Negroid population. Afrocentrists often turn to craniometry as their evidence to try and prove many ancient skulls from across the Americas is African or Black Aboriginal in origin. But it's been proven by today's scientific consensus that craniometry isn't a reliable study to determine race because many skulls from various racial groups can have similar skull shapes. The main purpose of craniometry has been used for racist eugenics by Eurocentric scientists in the past such as when they tried to prove black people had low IQ. The best way to prove racial origin of any ancient remain is using the scientific studies of dental traits and DNA. Afrocentrist and black aboriginals often point to the wide nostrils and full lips found on various Almec colossal heads, claiming these facial features are their absolute evidence. Like I explained in my previous video, wide nostrils and full lips are not exclusive to Negroid population. Broad noses and wide nostrils are natural adaptation to warm tropical and humid climates. The various smaller and larger Almec sculptures gave unique depictions of the various indigenous American phenotypes found across the Americas. Furthermore, there are still millions of Almec descendants found in various indigenous ethnic and tribal groups of southern Mexico. These indigenous populations of southeast Mexico have the closest look to the Almec colossal heads, especially in photo comparisons that compare facial shape characteristics. The Almecs and their descendants have round, flat, and wide faces. 
In this photo comparison, you can see the rounder and flatter faces, as well as wider faces of many southern indigenous Mexicans, which are not general facial characteristics of sub-Saharan African or the entire black diaspora. Not to mention the tropical Native American broad nose and full lip facial characteristics that are clearly displayed on the colossal heads. With the recent DNA evidence found that points the Almex to Native American haplogroup A, the Almex are clearly Native American. Nuff said.